What's going on guys? Danny Linear Lawn Care. Today I'm going to show you how to change the hydraulic fluid on your Toro Grandstand. It's actually very easy uh, to do. So let's jump into this. I'm going to show you how to do this step for step. It's going to go pretty quick. So let's get to it. Right, some things you're going to need for this it's going to be a drip pan or an oil catcher something like that to catch your uh, fluid when it comes out uh, half inch or i'm sorry um, a 14 millimeter is what you're going to need for or a 9 16 to pull the uh to be able to pull the tank out on your mower you're going to need the filters uh, which the kit comes with two filters then you're going to need the one, uh, well, the two filters also come with two uh, new gaskets, O-ring gaskets, when we pull them out. Uh, oh, then you will need a 3 8 ratchet with what I use as a three inch extension. So uh, let's jump into this, of course, and then you're going to need your hydro fluid. It costs for 159 ounces, five quarts pretty much. So uh, let's turn you around here drop the camera down and show you what you need to do. We're going to pull this cap off and the filter out. Put your pins underneath these right here. And then you're gonna take your three eighths and we are going to pull these out. Pull your filters out, let it completely drain and then we'll put new filters in there. Put our new gaskets on our stoppers and then put them back on and uh, then we'll fill it up and let all the air bubbles get out and uh yeah so stay tuned all right so here's our old o-rings off of the uh caps that we pulled out and then once you pull these you know caps out then your filters will be in there and this spring will be facing towards you so uh once you go to reinstall the new one then just know there is a, a gasket right here, pretty much a rubber gasket, I'd say, and that you make sure you push this all the way in there. It will be all the way inside the hydro. And then uh, once you put your new O-ring gasket on, then you will tighten, you know, start threading it back on there. And the key to this is do not try to over tighten these because they will strip. This only costs for 16 to 20 pounds or so of, uh, foot pounds of pressure to tighten it. So just know that that is not a lot. That's just pretty much tightening it enough to get the, uh, the ratchet to stop. Um, what I like doing is taking my thumb and putting it on the ratchet. Show you here. <clears throat> I like taking my thumb and putting it on the ratchet like here. And then uh, I like taking two fingers here and this is what I'm, I'm using to push with. I'm not back here, I'm right here up close to the ratchet to where when it gets snug, to where I can't turn it no more like this without killing it, you know, uh, then it is tight. So uh, be very careful because you do not want to strip these. They are plastic. All right, so next we're going to uh, remove the tank. And in order to do that, we have to loosen these knobs up here. And you just loosen these enough to where these will pop out. And once these pop out to where they're not in the way, you can, you know, then this will come off. But we got to do the other side over here. So let's get that. So these are going to be 14 millimeter or 9 16 So pull these off and then uh, pull your tank out. All right. So now that we have replaced the filters, now we're going to get back here. We remove the tank. And if you notice these black plugs right here, there's one there, there's one on the other side right here. And we're gonna loosen them up to where they're loose, to where they wobble. And we're gonna let the air come out of these to where when one starts leaking, one of these hydros, they say starts pushing fluid out, then we know it's going to be full. Then we tighten these back up. And uh, yeah, so make sure we don't overfill our <clears throat> our hydraulic fluid up there but so let's loosen these up all 
and we're going to loosen that up until it is pretty loose and, and wobbles around some that way you can push it out <clears throat> we're going to do the same thing to this other side right here you can see that one and for anybody wondering i will let you know the uh, size of the allen you need for this all right loosen that one up and uh, so the size of this is going to be a 3 8 so this is what you're going to need right here your 3 8 like that to loosen it and tighten it back and uh, we'll go over the specs and stuff of the tightening here in a minute but we just want to loosen those up to where all of our air is going to flow out to release the air in the tank to fill these hydraulics up and that way when they are full then it will leak out a little bit of one of these and we will know all right so now if you notice this plug has been leaking a little bit of fluid out now we're going to tighten them up both of these plugs all right so now we got our tank back in we've got our piece back on pad back up we're going to start the engine and we're going to let it run for a couple minutes to kind of get the system flowing then we will take it off of these we will test it out and make sure we do not need to bleed the system so here we go all right guys so now we've moved it around took it out made sure it runs right and uh, i think we're good to go so no need to have to bleed the system but if you do check the manual it's very easy to do as well don't let this uh, intimidate you at all because a dealer wants to charge you $400 to do this it is not that hard to do it's very simple to do actually and uh, you really it's really hard to mess it up enough to where you have to bleed the system but if you pull them them uh, top bolts out or them top caps on the hydros out too far then you could let enough air in there to where you do have to bleed them so just loosen them up enough to where they just barely wobble uh, because if you loosen them a lot then they will pop out on you you'll have hydro fluid go everywhere and then you may have to bleed the system so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment subscribe i'm danny i'll see you in the next one if you have any questions feel free to comment down below thanks for watching